um, grindy games, games of repetition, um, as much as that may sound immediately boring and I can hear you hitting the smooth alarm. But no, um, it's actually pretty interesting. Just again, depends on your personality type. I mean, Antoine, so as a person who hates the grind, you know, uh, hates RNG, if, you know, somebody, you know, some designer somewhere is like, Antoine, I'm going to make a game for you. It still has grind and, and RNG, but what would make it perfect for you? Like, how could they fix the grind for a player like you? Hmm. <laughs> fix the grind. Uh, make it, well, I may not have the answer, but, you know, as Adam said, they are already finding answers, you know, like in uh, FF14 with the totems or um, Monster Hunter and even uh, Zero, um, Forbidden West where uh, the RNG is not based on just rolling a dice, but more like a skill. Do you have the skill to get what you want? Um, otherwise, yeah, I'm not a big fan of RNG, so it's going to be hard. Like, unless it's a Dungeon and Dragon where the core of the game is rolling a dice. And uh, I'm going to be the first one to laugh like crazy if I get a critical failure and die. But <laughs> that's just how it goes, you know. Uh, I don't care. It's, it's fine. That's because the game is like this. But again, grinding when it's done, when it goes organically with the game, because it's on side missions and you don't really see it happening, rather than uh hey go kill uh, five wolf and uh, go kill uh, five stuff or uh, we need uh, x amount of stones which drop at five percent on this particular mob <laughs> go die <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> no this is uh, to be absolutely avoided this is maybe it was in okay in, in 2000 or 2010 this is just not okay anymore this is just so I why is this not okay anymore for. I don't get it's it because both of you guys played WoW like crazy. And why were you guys okay with fetch quests of I will bring five sheep to me or harvest ten flowers? Why are you not because, okay with um, that now? I, at the time, I was okay with it, but not that long. I haven't played WoW that long. At some point, just get... You know, it. it's fun when it's a new mechanic and you accept it. Yeah. At some point, it just feels like a lazy way to increase you know, the, the life of your game. You know, if there's a good story and a good backing and a good side quest, okay, you know. If it's just, uh, I need, again, 10 stone and you have 5% chance drop on this particular monster, the hell, you're just making fun of me or something? That's not fun. I'm not having fun doing this. Absolutely not. In Elden Ring, I can understand the grind is because if you go... Uh, with your basic armor, or you can even start with uh, only your underwear if you if you are very courageous. Uh, you know you're gonna get killed, so you have no choice but to you know loot gear and and improve yourself. That's just how the game is. That's just how souls work, and you have to accept the concept before uh, you start the game. So. If you're okay with grinding this way, that's fine for you. I'm not okay with losing my time on this. I, I have, again, that's again, being a middle-aged gamer, I don't have time to spend four hours for one particular item. I need to be interested in story and chop, chop, chop. Okay, bring me to the story and keep me interested and I want to see more and tell me more story and more gameplay and more things. I don't want to do, redo the same thing for five hours. I don't have time to do that. That's not interesting. I'm bored. No, don't, don't, I don't want that. Maybe when I was younger, I had a lot of time because I was a very bad student. <clears throat> anyway, uh, but I had time to do this. Maybe I found it fun at that time. Now it's just maybe a question of age, but that's just absolutely not how it goes now. So what do you think, Adam? Uh, I think it's a couple of different things. I mean, I think we've just evolved. Your gaming has evolved. I mean, it's kind of like if you invent say a cart with one wheel 
and it's a wheelbarrow, right? It's not quite stable, but it gets the job done, right? So you're like, oh, this makes my job easier. And then somebody comes along later and they develop a cart with two wheels. So now it's more stable and you're like, oh, wow, this is, uh, you know, more stable. And, and now I don't have to worry about it tipping over all the time. And then later on, somebody invents a cart with four wheels. And now you don't even have to hold on to it all the time. You know, you can kind of it'll, it'll hold itself up and all that. You know, if somebody's still developing carts with one wheels, the only reason to do that is to save costs. And I think gaming's kind of done that where back when we started doing it, it made a lot of sense because that's where we had built off of what we already had with, you know, D&D &D and tabletop games. And so it made a lot of sense, but we've since found better and more fun ways of doing it. So if you're still going back and doing it that way, it seems very... Like you're trying to just make it artificially difficult or, you're, you know, like there are other ways to make things difficult and fun. One of the complaints that I've heard uh, about Elden Ring is the fact that in previous Soulsborne games, you, you know, you would find a weapon in certain places. Things were in certain locations on the map and you could go out and seek them out. But now you have to grind. And some people are finding that irritating because they're like, I really want this weapon and I can't get it because it's all RNG based. That's not fun anymore. Uh you know, and it, it and I think part of it is that, especially now, you know, everyone's so used to instant gratification that when you get what you want, you have that dopamine kick in your brain, right? So I think now that we can get all that with internet and stuff like that, you know, life is faster. And so if we're not getting what we want, we get frustrated much more easily uh, than we used to. And there's a lot more competition. I mean, when World of Warcraft came out, there were a few other online games like uh, i think everquest was even was still around but uh that was basically it but now there's so many mmos i mean you have final fantasy 14 and then you have things like uh, black desert online and and you know all, yeah Terra. you have all these games now and if you look at a lot of mmos now they're switching away from that um from the cool the kind of thing that final fantasy 14 and wow do where you click the button cast a spell click the button cast a spell you know things are start Excuse me. Things are starting to get a little more action oriented. So I think that it's just kind of a, an older method of doing it. And I, and I think there's definitely people who want kind of that old school feel to it. But I think overall, it's just that, you know, we, we've found better ways to do it. So if you're not doing it in a better way, then you're, you know, why are you doing it? And it's probably just to make things last longer, especially now with live service. I think it's definitely kind of feels like this is a way to force people to continue playing our game to prevent them from going to other games, you know? So it's, it, if, if you finish all the content here, you can go and play something else. We need a way to keep people in here. Well, we could program, you know, really good content, but that's going to take time and it's going to take energy and it's going to take effort. Or we can just tweak this little percentage here to make a drop rate slightly lower. So they might have to repeat it an extra 10 times. You know, and then we don't have to change any content. I think I think that's a big part of why they do it that way. Very cool, very interesting. Um, gentlemen, final thoughts about grinding repetition, Antoine. Again, grinding is badly designed. Maybe it was accepted earlier or when you had to grind just to finish the last hidden boss because it's not compulsory. You can do the main story without it. And it's entirely your choice if you want to grind to beat the hidden boss, uh, FF7, 8, 9, uh, etc., etc. Um, if grinding is pure RNG just to extend the life of your game, uh, go and die, you know, over there, please. Um, you can you can find a way to grind which is not painful for the players and see i think they are experimenting even now with Elden Ring, which is a brand new game you know like these are really always trying to find a way to you need to grind you need to improve your character but this is a fun way to do it if, there, if there's maybe something that others haven't thought of yet uh, i like to see you know them finding new ways to make the player have fun without grinding or grinding but it's not that apparent you know that you have to repeat the same thing 70 times and spend five hours of your life just to get one specific item it's just not fun 
Adam, final thoughts? Uh, yeah, I think that's just kind of changing. I don't think grinding is necessarily bad. I, I just think that maybe certain times it's used as a crutch to fill in content rather than actually playing the game. Uh, but for example, a game like, say, Sekiro, where you don't have leveling, you're the same level throughout the entire game. I think in that case, you know, like the grinding is more fun because the grinding is learning the the game. You're not you're not trying to out level something. You're not trying to get better at something. You're just experiencing it and improving yourself. You're not improving the character. And I think a game like like that works out really really well. Um, so I, I think there's a place for it, but I think you have to make it fun. Not or you, I think if grinding's in the background, it's not it's not so bad. Yeah, and I, and I like games now. A lot more games are doing kind of horizontal leveling rather than vertical leveling. So you're not necessarily making the character a higher level and stronger. You're just giving the character more skills so that you have more ways to play or more options to play. And I think that that kind of uh, makes things a little more interesting in a way because you can go back and do old content, but you have new ways to engage with it as opposed to just you're stronger and you're doing the same thing. You're just doing it better. So I, I think being able to to engage in things in different ways. I, I think uh, probably if I had to pick a game that I think grinding is pretty good might be uh, the Elder Scrolls games. You know, uh, Oblivion, uh, Morrowind, uh, Skyrim. Because there, instead of, it's not just, you know, kill enemy, kill enemy, kill enemy, kill enemy. It's use your skill. And you'll naturally get better at it, right? If you use more destruction spells, you get naturally better at destruction magic. That levels you up. If you want to be sneaky, you sneak around and you naturally get better at sneaking. But you get experience for doing that. So I don't think that system is perfect. But I think that kind of idea is better than, you know, just kill this pig a hundred times. <laughs> Absolutely.